so we really felt that as youth and as civil society, we had to show them that we were going to hold them accountable. This was really just a response to um, a general frustration among pretty much everyone at the conference that the U.S. hadn't been stepping up um, and taking a position of leadership. I knew when I stood up I wasn't speaking alone, um, and I knew that I was representing a very popular voice in that we need the U.S. to step up and take a stand. I really saw that if the U.S. didn't take a position of leadership, if we didn't push towards having binding emissions reductions right away, that the risk would be much more grave than having one person removed from the negotiations. Afterwards, Todd Stern pushed ahead his press conference where he had to respond to questions about the lack of urgency in the U.S. position. So I think it really showed that if we put pressure on our leaders and ask them to really represent our interests, then they'll have to respond. I started Stuart when I was two. So Stuart was the entirety of my education until I got to college. I had people around me who valued my opinion and let me challenge what was being given to me and helped me engage on issues. Because my voice was really valued at Stuart, when I went to college, when I went to the international climate negotiations, I knew that what I had to say was important and valid and should be said.